Hello YouTube, it's Temba MC Fate here. Today I want to present to you my screen capture program that I've created during December 2014 holidays. So this is the actual program. For this screen capture, I only used C++ and the IDE I'm using, as you can see, it's Mpac Adair Red Studio XE4. So, let me run it so you will see my output. Come on, come on. There you go. You forgive me, my PC is too slowly. Okay, it looks like this. As you can see, the status messages please select the destination folder. The destination folder is where this program will save the recorded files so in this case I will just create a new folder here on the desktop and call it out record out record out like this so you just let's see Okay, record out this. See, this is the current date and the current time, as you can see here. So, since the recording hasn't started yet, the length is zero minute and zero second. So, I will now select the destination folder. Either by clicking start here, it will take me to this page so I could just click here and select the destination folder or I could just click start it will just display this message please select the destination folder and take me to this tab so I could just browse and select where I want to save my recorded file so this is the folder <laughs> record out which is actually this one here so I just select it and click OK. So as you can see now, the folder is now selected, but I did not select any recording devices. So if I will just click start, it will take me where I have to select the recording device. So this is the destination folder, so I have to choose the recording device. So I will just click this button, or again I will just click start and then it will tell me to choose but here's the information you could either select the default one in most cases the default one will always be there and the microphone one will always be there but if you did not install any drivers that are capable of mi microphone and recording capability you will not see any option there so just have to make sure you have a working or tested microphone on your system installed so I'll just click OK so notice that on the list on, on the list of the devices there's a possibility that you might see stereo mix so stereo mix will record also just like microphone the difference is that stereo means it takes too much sound of the system and combine it with the sound that is from a mic 
yet microphone it only takes too much sound from a mic and less sound from a system so I could just click OK and see here we go I have none here default microphone and stereo so if I choose default it's similar if I choose microphone so this default represents the first one between these two or in your case you might be having more than that or less than that but this default represents this one that is after it so if you select none obviously it won't record so it won't be able to detect a sound from the microphone so I will just select the default one here or could select this one so this means this so this let me just choose this one okay now the status is written ready to record so notice that the moment I click start it will get minimized so it records everything that is happening on the screen okay so now it's actually recording and the file that is recording it is going to save it and record out as you can see the file is already generated here we go so notice it says displays the length of that generated video file is an mp4 so this is the length as it keeps on recording the length increment each and every second so you could actually choose the quality of your video here before you start recording but once the recording has started you cannot select as you can see you can't select any just because the recording has started there so I could just do anything on the on the screen open some stuff here and open the code so this is the one that I'm actually using to record this video here and then this one is the one I'm actually presenting so I'm actually recording this video using my own screen capture that I've created with nothing else but C++ so I could view the code here as you can see it's running and I can then stop the video to see actually let me just play a track okay. so I can now stop the recording stop so the recorded file is now saved goodbye so it simply means you can just run this program once and then whenever you want to record again you just have to open it it won't give you any problem and then I can click OK so the program is now closed so notice that when I run it for the second time as you can see it knows exactly where to save the file because on the previous one you have selected rec record out as a destination folder so this time it knows and and the device for recording that was selected previously still it knows them that is why you can just click read you start and it's ready to record there you can select the quality the higher the quality the higher the memory and the higher the resolution so if you know what I mean I can then close it and play the recorded file so we'll see if it does play this is the recorded file now it's actually recording yes and the file that is recording is playing as you can see and record out as you can see the file is already generated here we go as you I can then and the do 
anything on the on the screen. And I just and open the screen now. Here. And open the code. So this is the one that I'm actually okay, using. Okay, I can then close the this video the one now. Hope hope you enjoy and hope you like it. That's it for now.